In this video, we are going to discuss one of the strangest and most exciting theories in physics and explain it in a very simple and dynamic language so that 99% of the audience who have no knowledge of physics will understand, and this theory is multi-universal. We know that our world was created from a big explosion called Big Bang, and our world began. Now the main question is why only this world appeared? Is it possible that the world or other worlds appeared at the same time as us? Why laws are physics as they are now? If you're looking for answers to these questions, be sure to watch the video until the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. First, we start our discussion with the design of an old game. In tossing a coin up, there is a 50% chance that it will come up heads, and the other 50% will be heads down. But now, a question arises, and that is, what happened to the 50% that was supposed to come back? This was a question that challenged the minds of quantum scientists because they were testing the spin of the atom in the laboratory and wanted to test how many percent of the spin of the atom is up and what percent is down. These two states for the electron to, when it is not measured on it, it is there in it. Just like this photo, there is both happiness and sadness in it. It just depends on what situation it is in. Scientists have given a solution for it, and it is multiple worlds or parallel worlds. They explain it like this. When you want to make something happen, there are two or more possibilities for it. But after that happens, only one of them. Probabilities happen to you, and other modes cause the branching of the timeline and the world. That is, if you and your friend bet on the same coin, and there's a 50% chance that you will win, and a 50% chance that you will lose. And if in this bet, if you win, then the other 50% that was supposed to make you lose will happen to that one version of you in a parallel world, and you will lose. And this completes the probability. I feel that you still do not fully understand this concept, so I will explain it to you with another example. And if you are satisfied with the video up to this point, be sure to like the video. Now let's go to another example. In the theory of multiple worlds, there is one or infinite models of you, but with different properties, for example, when you are laughing, a parallel version of you is crying. Or if you do not have singing talent in this world, there may be a be a very famous singer, or most simply, if you lose a bet in this world, don't be upset at all because your parallel version has won the bet and completed the probability. Scientists say that when the Big Bang happened, one or more parallel worlds were created, and the created worlds are expanding like a hobby bubble in an infinite space, and the travel gates between the parallel worlds may be huge black holes and you can travel between the worlds by entering them. One of the other reasons why multiple worlds can be proven is why the laws of physics are the way they really are. For example, why gravity attracts objects around it and does not repel them, or most simply why water at a temperature below zero freezes and does not evaporate. And the nature of the laws of physics, why do they really work like this? The only answer that can be found at the moment is the theory of many worlds, and it says that all possibilities exist and it is possible that in another world, water at a temperature below zero, it boils, or maybe in another world, water is normally solid. If you still don't understand, this example is one of the most beautiful examples of parallel worlds, and it is deja vu. It is very likely that you have gone to a place or smelled a smell, and felt as if I have known this place for several years, in case you are going there for the first time, and you haven't even seen a picture of it before. One of the reasons for such an incident is the existence of a parallel world in such a way that one of our parallel versions in his world goes to that place very often. And we also got this feeling from him, although this reason is not very scientific and proven. But it can be one of the reasons for the existence of multiple worlds. And imagination has always worked much better than having science. As Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge because knowledge is limited. While imagination covers the whole world, it stimulates progress. It sparks evolution. Another theory that exists and is very popular is traveling to the past. When you can travel to the past and destroy your grandfather, for example, this will destroy you and the world. And in the most optimistic scenario, you will enter the grandfather's cycle. If you don't know about it, I recommend that you watch the video above in full. Now, in order to prevent the destruction of the world and eliminate the grandfather cycle, the theory of multiple worlds must be used and that is when you travel to the past and cause change before you can make the smallest change. The reality and the timeline will split and you will enter a parallel world and the original world will remain intact and you will have destroyed your grandfather in the parallel world 
and you will also be destroyed at the same moment. I recommend that if you ever travel to the past, do not change it at all. Thank you for staying with us until the end of the video, and we hope you enjoyed this video.